my name is Nikki and my business is Nikki Designs. I design and sell handcrafted home decor items and I sell many of these items on Etsy. Today I'm going to show you my slip cover pattern for a outdoor rest and chair. Do you have one of these plastic outdoor chairs that doesn't look new anymore? Why not slip cover it? I sell these patterns and today I'm going to show you the high back version. So once you've got your pattern cut out and you'll receive a, uh, a layout with the pattern. I have notches that are labeled, so you make little slits where your notches are, and then simply transfer the letters of the notches onto the fabric. So for example, this is number one, and this is number four, and just right close to the edge, the letter of the notch. And these will help you put the pattern together. This is okay, the first step in constructing the slip cover is to form the back. So we take our back piece, number one, and pin it to the two outside arm pieces. And you're pinning them right sides together, matching the A notches. Put a few pins to secure. I don't have to have all this. Okay, and then we take it to the machine and sew those two long seams. So I'm stitching the first two seams at 5 eighths of an inch. That's probably enough. <laughs> so once you've sewn those two seams, it should look like this. And then I trim my seam allowances down to three-eighths of an inch or one centimeter and then to finish off your seam allowances if you don't have a serger you can zigzag or use an overcast stitch on your machine or you could use pinking shears So once you've finished your seam allowances, you'll want to press them both to one side. Okay, the next step is to pin the tucks in the inside back and arm piece. They are marked on the pattern like this with an arrow and that's the direction that you're going to pin the tuck. So you just match your two notches and put a pin. And then we need to do it on the other side as well. And then I'm going to base these notches in place. When you're basting your notches at the machine, you'll want to stitch uh, about four eighths of an inch from the edge so that when you sew your pieces together, the stitching won't show. So we just stitch over the fold. Okay, the next step to lay that piece that you just basted your tucks on 
with the right side up and take the other first pieces that you sewed together and lay it over top, right sides together. And we're going to match the notches B and C. And then we will stitch starting 5 eighths of an inch away from the edge around the top and down to the other side. Okay, that's probably good. So you start 5 eighths of an inch in and back stitch from your piece that's underneath. So once you've stitched those two pieces together, this is what it should look like, and I trim my seam allowances and finish them on the serger. The next step is to take your final piece and to match notches E Putting your pieces right sides together. And also the notches labeled D. So now we sew where we've pinned the um, seat and front to the rest of the cover in a continuous loop. If you have a serger with a knife, then you can trim off the 2 eighths of an inch of your seam allowances as you serge. Okay. You've sewn your last piece onto the slip cover, and this is how it should look. I trim my seam allowances and finish them off as well. So the very last step is the bottom hem. If you have your chair at this point, you could slip it on and pin it to the desired length. And then you take it to the ironing board and press it up, and then Press it again so you have a nice double pressed hem allowance. And you'll take it to the machine and just top stitch your hem in place. That's it.